and welcome to Minecraft Hardcore. I'm super excited to be back playing in the world today, and I've just been starting off this episode with a little bit of farming. I forgot to mention in the last episode, but I did pick up some melons in the Acacia Village. So I've just been kind of farming these melons, getting a few emeralds. We're almost up to a stack of emeralds now, and this farming is definitely reminding me that we're kind of in the need for some automatic farms around here, but we just don't quite have the resources to get there yet. So we need to keep making a bunch of steps to get towards those automated farms and bettering our base. In the off camera time, I've just been farming a little bit of wood, not actually that much, but I've got some oak wood for us and a lovely spruce trees continuing to grow all along here, just kind of turning this into a bit of a tree farm. And also while I was in this area, I noticed, where is it? Where is it? Right here, look at this. Look at this! <laughs> it's an almost perfect portal, and I've just been ignoring it because I spawned right over there and I've been working in this area. My boat is in this area. My trees are in this area. But look at this. It looks... It looks completely natural. You would never know that there's a portal there. What the heck? <laughs> so this is very, very cool, and I've not actually gone into it yet. Okay, we've got a mending gold pickaxe and a silk touch axe. I mean... Sure, I guess some gold horse armor is very cool. The main thing that's cool about this is the fact that, whoop, almost died. It's the fact that there's only one piece of crying obsidian in here and then one piece of obsidian missing. So this could be a full nether portal to go to the nether right now if we wanted it to. I know that a lot of you who want me to play a little bit more conservatively are going to want me to skip out on this opportunity to go to the nether right now, but I'm really curious. And hopefully, in this case, curiosity will not kill the cat. Right, Romeo and Juliet? And our friendly butcher? So here's the thing, I already have some obsidian, right? I have two pieces left over from the bunch that we got in a chest the last time we were out exploring things. I have a bunch of gold as well, you know what, we could do some piglin trading. We could. I'll take like half of it. So I'm going to use three of our lovely diamonds here and just make myself a pickaxe so that I can mine the crying obsidian. I think you need pickaxe. Either way, if I don't, we're going to use it. Um, and some flint and steel. Oh, and also golden boots. There we go. This is going to be the tiniest, most pathetic trip to the nether that you've ever seen in your life, but I'm quite curious as to what this is going to lead to. I don't have a bow, I don't have really anything that I should have to be doing this, but it's all for fun, right? Okay, first piece of obsidian is in, and now all I have to do is mine- <laughs> that's not a mining tool. I have to do is mine this crying obsidian. Oh gosh, I forgot how long this takes. Bam. I've obtained the crying obsidian, and we got the advancement. Who is cutting onions? Very cool. And our last piece of obsidian gets to go in, and... Light it up. All right, let's have our very first trip to the nether. I'm just gonna peek in and see where we're spawning and then probably peek right back out. Okay. Okay, we spawned in a delta. I don't know how I feel about this. Basalt deltas are very dangerous. But this is cool. These are some cool resources and also I mean, relatively safe spawn, right? Like, not the most safe in the world, but it's not out in the open. So we're not vulnerable to ghasts here. I'm gonna take that as a win. Also, we can grab some of this magma to make elevators. Okay, so my main purpose for popping into the nether today was this. This right here, quartz. Quartz is a really important recipe for some redstone designs. So I need a few pieces of this. I should be using fortune. I am very silly. I'm gonna use just a few pieces of this and then I'm literally gonna get right back out. This is all I need today. Oh, oh, it's a pit of death. Oh, good, good. I'm gonna mark that with magma. Okay, pit of death. There's also some gold here, which I will definitely take. Cool. All right, a little bit more quartz over here, and then I think I'll stop pushing my luck and I'll head out. Perfect, I got 54 pieces of nether quartz, which is literally all that I needed. I don't see any piglins, so I can't trade my gold, but I'm okay with it. We're leaving. Getting out while we're ahead. <laughs> I think that's the key with hardcore. You can't get too confident, you know? Don't push your luck, don't get overconfident. In, out, that's all. Just get what you need. 
<laughs> I don't know, maybe that's bad logic, but it's working. It's working so far. Okay, the reason this is important is because I want to make observers, which obviously requires quartz. Um, I don't know how many of these I'm actually gonna need. We're gonna start with four. That, that was three. We're gonna, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna start with four. Yes, nailed it. We're also gonna need a bunch of pistons for this. Are you seeing a theme? This is a lot of, this is a lot of resources for the early game. I think it's gonna be worth it though once we get this farm up and running. And we can kinda just do a mini version of the farm at first and expand it over time. I also have no real concept of where this farm should go, so I'm thinking we just tuck it underground. I, that's always the easiest spot for these farms because they're not that aesthetically pleasing. And I have this tower right here that we're not really doing anything with the interior, so we'll just make a staircase under here. The design that I'm using for this farm is by Il Mango, a wonderful technical YouTuber. If I didn't have the amazing redstone community of Minecraft, I would have no clue how to do anything. So I'm very thankful for people like Il Mango, and I'm going to link his video down in the description just in case you would like to uh, copy it yourself. The design seems to go something like this. Bunch of diagonal little squares, and then we're gonna have melons and pumpkins. And this is obviously not as big as it can be yet, but you know, it'll expand over time. And I've run these before in single player. I do not need a massive industrial level farm. I really just need something kind of small, to be honest. For this design, you need a piece of glowstone. I didn't go get a piece of glowstone. So I'm gonna try a lantern right here. A torch won't really work. Just, they don't sit right and they'll take up a space if it's on a block here. Um, but that'll kind of work, right? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just kind of getting around it. Um, right, so the next thing that I need is some note blocks for in between. We'll stay with the trend and just make four for now and see if this kind of base design just functions. And so all we gotta do is put a piston above those ones, except that it does have to go above this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the observers have to face down. No, I think that's the wrong way. Oop, it's nighttime. That's my bad. I really need a clock in every underground section that I live in. Shouldn't probably sleep in the outdoors as well like that. That was a bit, that was a bit dangerous. Um, are we fine? Is everybody fine? Oh, yeah, it does appear everybody is indeed fine. Those iron golems are worth their weight in iron for sure. 10 out of 10. Okay, so the observers go like this over the hydrated sections. Now we just wait. Um, obviously I have to construct the rest of this, but I just want to see if it works before I commit too hard. The underside of this farm is going to be covered in hoppers. I, however, don't have a ton of iron. So I think this is a great opportunity for us to go on a little adventure and go get some iron. I also realized that we have not yet set up our enchanting area. And that's just because I want to put this in a particular build that I haven't gotten around to doing yet. We can, however, just quickly set one up here very simply. Oh, sorry, I was growing bamboo in this area. I'll replant my bamboo somewhere else. But obviously, this is very temporary. I don't want bookshelves in the middle of my house. But I do want to see what this will give me. Efficiency. I'm going to do it. Cool. I would have rathered some unbreaking, and don't worry, that's not a waste of a pickaxe. It might be a slight waste of levels and lapis, sure, if you wanna go there. But when I have 30 levels, all I have to do is come in here and take this out, and it'll remove the efficiency from the pickaxe. And when I get mending on a villager, I can just mend this right up. So there's no point where this is actually going to break and be wasted. We may as well take advantage of it now. A great place for me to get iron is probably going to be these surface level caves, and I think there's some up here that I haven't really been all the way down. Yeah, I haven't been down there. <laughs> I don't think I have anyways. Oh, maybe I have, but look at that. I didn't, I missed a whole bunch of iron. I don't really want to just drop down, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it seems a little risky. Wait, is this where the creepers were? Oh my gosh. I bet it is. I think this is exactly where those creepers were. <gasps> oh no, did it see me? Okay, come here, come here. <gasps> Baby zombie! No, 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 no. You're even worse. You're way worse than creepers. Dude! Hey! I don't, I don't like your kind, to be honest. Ugh, stresses me out. You have to be so much more precise with your hits on them. Okay, <laughs> this is a really big cave. I'm glad that we've finally reclaimed it. I had no idea there were two entrances to it. 
Cool. Well, anyways, I came here for iron, so I suppose I ought to get it. I hope to one day get a lot better at the PvE or PvP aspects of the game, but I'm just not right now, and I think that that's okay. I can hear so many zombies from here, and I don't know where it's coming from. I've lit up all these caves. Whoa, they're so loud right here. Oh, I think I found it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why me, dude? Why every time? Just have to hope that a baby zombie doesn't come. Also, this is eye level with them. Not good for skeletons. Oh, full gold. Look at you. What an outfit. A little harder to kill. Oh, cool. Got your helmet. That'll be useful for the nether. There was a creeper, wasn't there? Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna just mind my business and get the iron. Oh, there's our creeper friend. Perfect. All right, back from the mines. I feel like I've done a pretty good job exploring some of that and I got 54 iron ore, which is gonna be great for this project that we're working on. So let's go smelt it up. Look how creepy the golem looks. Honestly, I'm a little scared to walk into my own village. <laughs> what the heck, dude? You're doing a great job on the intimidation factor. Right, let's smelt up some of this iron. You know what, I'll split it up a little bit. So, update, I've been working for just a few extra minutes in the world, I've done a little staircase right here, and this is working. I mean, it didn't work right here because there's no piston above it, but as you can see, it does fire. But there's nothing to pick up the items yet, so I really need to get on that and get those hoppers in place. Sadly, this is going to require quite a few hoppers, but I'm just gonna do what I can for now and get the rest in later. Although it isn't perfect, I feel like this is a great start to our automatic farming life. All I have to do is finish this all the way out with pistons, observers, and hoppers, which should be pretty easy to do over time. I'm glad that we started this. Now, would it even be a proper Gemini Tay episode if I didn't completely derail the episode at this point and decide to move on to something else? No, I think not. It would not. Um, I'm really sick of looking at this area. It's just, it's a big hole in the ground. I don't want to cover it up. I want to decorate it. I want to make it pretty. I want to want to be here. Did that make any sense? Sure. Um, we're gonna start by just making a staircase to get up and down and we're gonna kind of fill this in because it's a little bit messy at the minute. But I feel like this will make for a pretty simple start. Let's actually just put the staircase right here. It's a little bit of a different location, but I feel like it'll be a bit easier for building. There we go. This is much easier. Um, maybe just one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And we'll just bring the dirt over to meet it. And now I just fill in this little hole right here. Ha, ah, this is honestly so much better already. Next on the list, I'm actually gonna add some support beams to this kind of dirt wall right here. So just all along this curve, we're gonna have this overhang that's kind of a little bit more protected this way, I hope. Now, all I'm gonna do is connect each of these four pillars together with a few slabs and then some wood planks just on the ground kind of gradually turn it into this more mining type area. This is really satisfying. I love building little details like this. It's honestly just gonna make this area so much easier for me to be in, and I like it. And I'm gonna just try out some fences. Not 100% sure on the fences yet, but you know what? It might not be bad. It's kind of cute. What do you think? And of course we can continue our cobblestone path uh, just a little ways. I'm probably not gonna have it like straight either. I'm gonna have it kind of curve. Maybe just connect up this way, honestly. Quick mining area break to go farming. Oh, dude, what are you doing out here? <laughs> How? Go back inside, you weirdo. My farms. I sell this stuff to you for profit. You're not supposed to know about this. <laughs> it is so satisfying mining all this. Ah, I know we're gonna have an automatic farm after today, but still, it's just nice. And I think this is gonna be our first full carrot harvest. Very nice. Let's craft up these melons and see if we can go make a profit off of all this. Hello, villagers. Ah, yes, here's a lovely farmer. Perfect. Are you gonna upgrade? Do you have one final upgrade? Oh, look at that, diamond master. So this means we can get golden carrots to eat. That's kind of OP. Thank you, dude. Are you guys repopulating? Oh my goodness, there's been a birth. You didn't even tell me. Is this yours? Hello, are you my farmer? Are you sitting in the composter? <laughs> uh, what the heck, dude? All right, all right, you're cool. Um, I guess we'll just we'll just end up giving them to this guy. All right, and for an epic total profit of 21 emeralds. 
That's pretty awesome. I mean, for beginning game, villager stuff, I'm very pleased. Let's add this to my total. I think this is probably a stack now. Ooh, almost. It's 63 emeralds. I'm so close. I'm so close. Look how rich we are. The other thing I've been meaning to do is add a couple more job benches, and I really want to add a blast furnace, but blast furnace are a little expensive for the early game, and we were hard on iron already today, so I'm just going to go down and fetch one for my mine and replace it with this regular furnace. Whoop. <laughs> That'll never get old, I don't think. Right, let me just grab this. Thank you very much. Oh, I didn't even finish belting. It's much less fun on the way up. I really need to make an elevator one of these days. All right, so here are our two new job stands. Now, I think there was a jobless villager running around. Oh, they're gathering. I love this. They come to the center every single day and do their little happy villager noises and gossip, and it's so cute. I really like what I've accidentally set up here. So most of the villagers sleep in this main house because this is where I put four of the beds and also a job. I'm hoping that you'll pick up the job. Yes, thank you. 32, I could do that. All right, I can go get you some rotten flesh. <laughs> I just want to lock in a cleric around here somewhere. Um, here's my rotten flesh. Let me just take 32 of that. Perfect. So basically, I think what I would like overall eventually is to have all of them kind of sleeping in one area so that they all have to go to one spot at the end of the day, no matter what. So all their beds are in one house, central like hostel area, but then all of their jobs are in individual buildings. So we see the villagers walk from building to building to do their jobs as the days continue in our fortress. I think that'll be a really cute goal. I'm actually really excited to build that up. It's kind of cool having villagers. All right, my stone is officially smelted, so it's time to return back to this area. And I've kind of decided what I want here. I want this to look like a mining area, maybe a little bit dwarven, maybe just, I don't know, rustic, medieval-ish. I don't know exactly what theme I'm going for, but I want there to be a big chimney, like right here. I don't know why I want this. I've just decided that I want this, so I'm gonna do it mostly out of stone brick, I think. And I, I don't really have enough stone brick at the moment to finish this, but it'll be a good placeholder for when I eventually do have enough. I'm then going to add a little bit of a shelter over this mine area right here. I really like the way that it looks, and I think it'll look even better if we add a little roof over its head. So, just quite literally gonna drag some slabs across here and see if I can't make a good design. I kind of enjoy the aesthetic of the whole thing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> just adding some trap doors to give it that little more detail. I don't know, just make it look a little more worn down and that's a pretty cool mine. Okay, just hear me out, right? What if this was the area that we were able to work in and it has lava? I know, lava and hardcore, probably a bad idea, especially given that I have wood around here that I'm kind of using and attached to, but we're just going to hope that I don't burn the place down. And we're going to attempt to make a little lava flow right here because I just think it'll be so cute. So it's worth it. Plus, who wouldn't want an epic lava flow around their mine? I mean, well, it's probably not going to be that epic, but we can expand on it as time goes on. And we have some lava sitting right over here, just fresh for the taking. You don't need it, right? <laughs> cool. I got the advancement. All right, I'm just gonna put it right there. This might be able to catch on fire. That's kind of cool, right? I don't know, I I just like, I like lava. Um, Is that bad? I, maybe, but it's cute. Really brightens up the area. Please don't catch on fire. And just for the aesthetic, let's turn this place into a place with furnaces, cause why not? And we could put some anvils here eventually too. Maybe decorate with some cobble or some blackstone. Ooh, blackstone would actually look amazing right here. Did I pick any up earlier? I feel like I might have. Update, I didn't, but I can, and I would like to. And also magma. Oh, we're totally using magma. Wow, being able to go to the nether has really unlocked some building opportunities. It, I know it's hardcore, but by the way, um, yeah, we'll work on going to the nether for potions and stuff soon enough. But j today, blackstone, because why not? I just realized I'm not wearing any gold, and although I am very excited about my building prospects, I can't be dumb. We can't be dumb. We must be careful whilst building, or else we will perish. I, I don't want that. Gold boots acquired. All is well. Alright, perfect. This is really easy to get, and I actually only need a couple of pieces, so 
definitely worth it to come in here. All right, let's go with these few pieces and see what they look like. Okay, so right next to the lava, I think we can maybe do magma and maybe magma in here as well. Ooh, it's kind of a look. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. And then out from that, we'll do a little bit of the basalt. I love it. I feel like it's all about the small details, you know? You gotta be able to have little bits of fun in your world. Okay, the next thing we need is the area on top that I would like to be a smoking uh, chimney. I, I really need a campfire for that. Yeah, there we go. Just campfire. Perfect. Just gonna place the campfire there. I think eventually we'll add more details to this chimney and maybe even more buildings coming off of it because I would like to have minecarts actively running in and out of this area eventually when we get some automated stuff going. But for right now, I think that'll kind of do the trick. Yeah, it's cute. Maybe I can put a hay bale in under that as well just to get the smoke rising a little bit higher. Sorry if you're not much of a buildery person, by the way. This is how I kind of enjoyed the game. Uh, I know it's not for everybody, but even in a hardcore world, I want to have places that are cute that I want to come back to. I don't know if cute is the word for a giant smoking chimney with lava coming out of it, but you know what? It's fine. It's all good. I've realized that the farm I'm working on is literally just right here. <laughs> and I know that this is probably not the most convenient, but like it kind of is for me placing these because I can literally place them and then just get back out so quickly. This is great. <laughs> this is kind of best case scenario, to be honest. Oh, I found a jobless villager. Would you like a job? You're kind of expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but I think I'm gonna go with this. What do I actually need? I, I, to be honest, I, I need nothing, but I'm gonna lock in that, and I just, oh, discounts. All right, perfect. I kind of just wanna upgrade this villager, and this might be kind of dumb but I really am just gonna buy all of this. I know this seems like a waste of emeralds, but if I upgrade this guy, I can get diamonds, potentially. It's fine, we'll just have to make a display area. This is gonna save me on iron though, because it's way easier to get emeralds than anything else. I mean, look at this. Ready? Bam. Let's go make some emeralds. Oh, I've got discounts! Heck yeah. Okay, let's go farm the rest of my stuff while I've got some discounts. I love when they gossip and give me discounts. This is the best. I love farming wheat. Hello, more wheat for you. Oh, you're all out. Okay, can I do pumpkins? Thank you. And are you a farmer? No, you're not the farmer that I need. Hmm. Ah, here's my other farmer. There you go, buddy. Back to 29 emeralds. So yeah, th this is kind of easy to be honest. I, I don't need to worry about wasting emeralds. I do read all my comments and I've seen a few of you worried about me wasting these emeralds, but they're literally free. They're so easy to get. There's no such thing as wasting something that is infinite, but we can have as much as we want of emeralds. All we have to do is farm pumpkins and wheat, and it's really easy to farm pumpkins and wheat. One of the very first times that I watched a Minecraft YouTuber do something, it was DocM77, and I'm pretty sure it was the SMP Minecraft, and DocM was playing with villagers. And I'm just getting so many like memories of that episode of Docs, and I don't know why I can remember it because it was literally years ago, but I'm just having such a good time playing with these villagers. So what I've been doing in my off camera time, by the way, this is done pretty much. It needs some more hoppers to have everything collect, but look at this, it's pretty much filled in. We need one more row right here, but it's ready to go. It's literally functioning. I don't have a hopper right there, which is why that didn't pick up, but look at this. We are actually harvesting stuff. I've not been AFK for any amount of time, so it hasn't harvested much, but this is great. I feel like we've got a lot accomplished in this episode, to be honest. Now, this villager. You, my friend, are my next assignment. If I upgrade this villager, I think all the way to master, the last two, basically, levels of this armorer will give me diamond armor, and it should be enchanted as well. This is pretty cheap. We're just gonna buy a whole bunch of these. I wanna do this on camera. Normally, I feel like this is something that I would just do on my own, but I've genuinely never done this with villagers before. Usually I would just use my diamonds that I collected, but I feel like armor is pretty expensive for diamonds, so if we can get it and just use the diamonds to make tools, that'll be pretty big. Lava buckets? Does it take the bucket, I wonder, and a shield? I'm actually interested. I wonder if it takes the bucket. I'm gonna take the lava out of here. Um, I don't think I should have lava around my villagers anyways, so 
let's just see if it absorbs the bucket. Absorbs, that's not the correct term. Um, I've been studying chemistry, so. <laughs> hey buddy, are you gonna give me the bucket back? You're not. Okay, okay, that's kind of expensive on iron then. I'm not gonna do that, but either way, pretty cool. And one more, there we go, okay. Get an upgrade, yes, yes, yes. There we go, okay, so, and we got a discount, but here's our diamond armor. We're totally gonna buy that. It doesn't have the best of enchants, but we have an enchanting table and we have librarian villagers that we can get to get better enchants and upgrade it over time. Also, I think we need to make it a mission to relocate this into a proper area. Um, maybe we can transform this house right here that's not being used into an enchanting tower of some form. I don't know, give me all your ideas. This chest is just turning into a random iron things that I don't need anymore chest. Okay, hello villager, come back here. Uh, we'll start with, oh, these are more expensive. We'll start with these. Cover me with diamonds, there we go. Wow, I've never done that before, that's really cool. It's our first piece of diamond armor. I'm quite proud of this. It's just got blast protection, but what we could do is we could just disenchant it if we want to, right? I have 27 levels right now. I'm, I'm not gonna have enough to enchant everything, but eventually I can just shove it in here, take that enchant off and put on a better one and then add mending to that so that it never breaks. That's kind of a genius, super cheap way to get things. Oh, okay. So fun fact, it does actually burn down. Um. Right, so I do need to just rethink the lava. Um, I think it's, I thought it was within two blocks. If this is two blocks and this is two blocks. I have a bunch of extra slabs of things that aren't going to burn. So I'll just use those as the edge and hope that I can maybe keep some of the wood, but just on this outer edge here. I saw a comment today as well asking why it's never night. It is, I just carry a bed on me and I literally never have to talk about sleeping because the sun goes down even the slightest little bit and I get my bed out. <laughs> I don't really have a bedroom. I literally just carry the bed. It's not worth it. I don't want nighttime to ever come. But how does this look? I think that should add a little buffer and hopefully make it so that it's not affected. I just have to finish this one edge here. I'm gonna leave the front edge as normal, like so. I think that still looks good. It just adds like a little barrier of fireproofing, I hope. All right, friend, I've got some emeralds for you. There we go. Perfect, oh, I love this. This doesn't have feather falling, so technically when I'm building, I'm still going to take these leather boots out and use them, but that's so great. I think it's finally time to do a little bit of organizing of this room as well and actually get, you know, some of my things displayed properly. So this is gonna be my nether one. Um, this is my, let's do a poisonous potato. This is my farming chest. Uh, this is my dirt and sand and gravel chest. This is my redstone chest and my random iron trading stuff chest. I'm gonna need more chests eventually, but good start. So for this wall over here, I'm at the moment not using it for much, but I think I'm gonna turn it into an idea or a mission board. So starting off, we need to get our enchanting set up. We've had our enchanting area for a while, but because I've never really had the XP and I keep using it on other things, I haven't bothered with it a ton, but we need to get a whole dedicated area for this. Next up, we definitely need to start being able to potion brew. Although we do have a brewing stand, this requires blazer rods to actually function, and we have access to the nether now, so that can be something that we work towards fairly soon. Next up is larger farms. Oh, uh, our farms are kind of pathetic at the moment. I mean, we have this automatic one down here, which is gonna be fantastic, but as far as farms go on the outside of our village, it's not much. We could really beautify that area and make it a lot better and kind of expand our fields to be all around this area. We also need potato and beetroot. Next up, the fortress entrances. It's starting to drive me really insane that the villagers can just walk in and out. We have two entrances right now, one over here towards our cows and one up there towards the mining area that we use all the time. I need to get these set up with proper gates, but I just haven't yet. There's a cat, that's about all. <laughs> I also need to put the last sign on the signboard I just remembered. Oh, and it's getting nighttime. Here's what I do when it gets nighttime. I just, I just do this until it lets me sleep. There we go, much better. That direction, the jungle, and the villages. 
Perfect. I'll beautify that sign eventually, but at least it has all the signs on it now. If you have anything else that you want me to work towards in this early game, definitely let me know down in the comments and I'll try and continue adding things to the board. For now, let me just place a bunch of empty signs. There we go. Finally, I really need to work on the storage room wall and I think I'd like it to be an accent wall. So I'm gonna head out in boat really quickly and just see if I can find any blocks that I want. I think that I'd like to go to the mesa and get some of those blocks. Also, update on our lava area, no more fire. That's great, I think that that worked. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it needed, so that little buffer is gonna help. All right, here's some mesa. Now the only thing that I have to do is figure out exactly what color I would like to have. How incredibly lucky, or I suppose these are kind of common in this area, but I really need rails. So that's kind of epic, to be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna explore all of this right now, but wow, cool. And unfortunately, I'm not seeing any easy chests in this area. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna just, just get out while I'm ahead. We can come back here and gather a bunch of stuff though once we need it for our mining area. That'll actually be great. Look at this, it saves me so much iron. I literally already have 39 rails. Also, being out here, I'm actually really inspired by this red sand and I think I'm gonna use this as my accent wall. It'll give a really nice orange and I can turn it into the sandstone, which I think is really cute. I don't see a lot of people use red sandstone, so maybe it'll be cool to have it. Also, there's a shipwreck out here, so naturally I have to go explore that. This looks like a really cool full shipwreck. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Some emeralds and some iron is always appreciated. Thank you, thank you. All right, home sweet home. Looks like the villagers are being looked after quite wonderfully, and we can get to work building in here. I actually brought home three separate blocks for this, and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them, but I imagine sort of a gradient here in the wall, so I'm going to try it. Like, let's start off with some orange terracotta, and then go sandstone, and then sand. This is just gonna be a more interesting wall, I think. Wait, I actually love it! I kinda want it to be the whole thing! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't intend on liking it! Wait, why is it actually good? Okay, I'm into it, I'm into it. I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'll let all of you decide uh, if you want me to keep it, or change it, or, or what do you like? <laughs> I don't know. Let's talk about our building preferences. I personally like gradients. Also, now that we have these rails, we can totally use them to decorate this area. I want to do like a full fancy whole minecart setup eventually, but we could just like kind of decorate and have them flowing around like this. Uh, no, that's not quite what I meant. Like, I just want it to look like a whole work area, you know? I want it to seem like things are moving and I don't know. Am I silly for decorating my mind this much? Probably, but I like it. <laughs> the final thing that I needed to talk about from last episode is my use of diamonds. We have 19 diamonds left, and obviously that is enough to make a chest plate, a helmet, and also a sword or ax or another pickaxe, anything like that in terms of tools, which I definitely want to do soon, but honestly, I'm okay right now at the iron tools and I don't wanna waste them. I think in next episode, it's going to be really important for me to get some form of XP, get up to level 30 and start enchanting with this enchanting table. And also probably move this into a proper build because I'd like to have something else in this area, to be honest. <laughs> For now though, I do think that, that is all the time that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me over on Twitter at GeminiTayMC and Instagram at GeminiTay. I can't wait to hear from all of you down in the comments below what you thought about this episode. I really enjoyed filming it. I feel like this was a little bit of a slower episode in terms of progression, but I'm just kind of enjoying playing the game and the early game is really exciting for me. Next episode, we'll try to get a lot more progression done if I can so that we can start getting really OP and taking on harder things. But I'm enjoying just working on my base and being in the village. It's not something that I've done before, so I'm genuinely just having a great time and I hope that you're having fun watching me. Thank you so much for all your support on the series and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye everyone.